Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and we are back with the supply ship that we are building. So, a few of you guys have said, uh, well, this series was very short because I only actually did two videos for it. Um, and then I took a bit of a break, and honestly, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I was away for a little while, so obviously that was a bit of the issue, but uh, taking a break is actually pretty cool. Anyway, what I want to do today is actually design some sort of structure on the back so that we can add the diving bell to it. I don't know how this is going to go, but um, that's what I want to do, so let's get to it. Alright, so the more I think about this, the more I'm uh, interested in knowing whereabouts I actually want this diving bell to go. Uh, I am actually thinking right here, around this point right here, because we've got this, like, barrier right here, uh, and I feel like it just makes sense to do this. So, let's go ahead and start building something, and hopefully, in the end, it'll actually look really good. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and start by building everything in white. Once we need to paint it, we can obviously change it. Uh, but yes, for now, let's go ahead and do this. There's one. Very nice. Let's move this in a little bit and do this one. Here we go. Very good. And let's go ahead and build these guys together. So that one's there. This one's here. And we'll attach these uh, straight across and that'll be fine. Alright, so it looks a little bit strange as of right now, but don't worry about that too much. Let's go ahead and delete those guys, build these guys into here, and I think I'll actually extend those all the way out to there, and that will look pretty good. So we're then going to go ahead and extend these across, and what that'll allow us to do is actually put in something along the lines of this going straight down into there. There we go, do it right here as well. Excellent. Alright, so from there, what do we want to do? Well, I'm thinking we actually delete somewhere around here, and we build this into there like that. Very good. And then essentially, we just extend it upwards into the sky. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, as long as I can figure out where that is. Here we go, delete this, put that into there, and build it up. Here we go, very nice. Yeah, alright, cool. You know what, actually, let's go ahead and delete these down so that it's like there instead. And what we can do is actually use these guys uh, in order to get what we need. So we're going to go straight up like this. There we go. On this side, we're going to go straight up like that. And I guess we'll just go ahead and attach these guys together. Just like that. I do think they should be like further apart. But other than that, I think this is good. All right, there we go. They have been separated. That is pretty nice. We then need to work out how the pulleys work. Uh, and I do think we want, I don't know, maybe one of these? I guess this is fine. So, which way round does this even work? <laughs> I need to figure that out. So, da 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 da, rope length two, rope length one, okay. Where do the ropes actually connect? Into there and into there, alright, cool. So if we flip these over, it'd be nice if this was like one wider, but unfortunately it's just not. I guess that's fine. So we'll actually put it further away, that's fine. We'll have to add two winches, one here and one here, and essentially they'll connect up to there. Alright, cool. So two huge winches. Uh, they are actually going to go into here, just like that. There we go. And then we should be able to actually attach this up to there, this from there down to here. And, oh, these guys actually need to be the other way around. So they need to be like that. I do think they should be closer together, but maybe we could actually put those there, then add some pulleys... Uh, inwards a little bit, and maybe that would work better? I'm not sure. So let's say we grab this, we delete that guy, and we shove it on there like this. Here we go. I don't know how this is going to work, but essentially that goes to there, this goes up to there, and then we do the same thing right here, so to there, and this goes up to here. Alright, let's see what that even looks like. Alright, so that is what it currently looks like. A little bit strange, but I guess that is going to work. I think so, anyway. You know what, actually, better idea is if we move these guys to the other side, so we cut this. There we go, and we move it this way, and we paste it into there. Very good. We can then grab this guy and send it across, and maybe that'll be fine. So merge this into here. Uh, the wires, or the cables, are still going the same way, and then it goes up to there, and then it'll go down through the center, because that's where it'll be. Yeah, honestly, I think that's actually fine. Obviously, it'll be tighter than this, so it'll work out, but um, yeah, that's cool. Alright, so what are we going to do from there? Well, each of these is going to go down into the floor, just like so. We're going to do one there, we're going to do one here, and essentially, in the center, we're going to have to delete the entire floor. Alright, cool. From there, we're going to go ahead and drop this down into the bottom, just like this. We're going to go from here up to the other side, just like that. And we're going to do the other side from here down to there. 
From there, we can actually delete this guy, and it can go all the way down and through. All right, so that area down there is now red. Very cool. And I think that's kind of all we need. What I want to do from there, though, is actually delete these guys on this side. And I guess these guys on this side. And we need some grippers or tracks. The tracks will be fine, actually. So essentially, we're just going to go and shove these guys under here like this. There we go. Turn it around. Do the same thing on this side. And then we do need to actually paint the bottom of these so that they look normal. Uh, and so that they actually work. So there we go. Good. On the inside, we're going to paint all of this. And over here, we're going to paint all of this. And I think I might actually add some interior walls. So from here up to the top, we'll go all the way backwards, all the way upwards as well. There we go. From there, we can actually go straight across. That's fine. And we can do the same thing at the other end if we want to. I'm not sure about that just yet, though. All right, so from there, what do we actually want to do? Well, I'm going to delete these guys up to there, and I'm going to shove these guys in there. Uh, I might actually make those white for once, which is not something I generally do, but that's fine. So delete these up to there. Very good. Delete this again up to there. And then I am going to put some of these guys in. So uh, if I can, I want this to look nice. <laughs> uh, but how likely is that going to work? I don't know. Right, cool. So, shove these guys across there. Very good. Shove them across the back end as well. And I think I'm going to do one. And that's it. There we go. So, rails. Here we go. Grab one of these end segments and put it there. And that's fine. All right. So, what is next? Let's go ahead and actually build in some, like, support structure looking stuff. So, we'll actually do uh, this kind of thing going down to there. We'll do this kind of thing going down to there. Obviously, deleting these guys in the center and doing this. Uh, really quickly. There we go. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'd then like to do a similar thing on this side. And again, a similar thing on the other side as well. So delete these guys for now. Do this across here. And attach these guys up to the top. Here we go. So just like this. Very nice. All right, so this is the stage we are currently at. So I've gone ahead and added some more supports around the top. And honestly, I do think that is starting to look really, really sick. It actually looks really good. So what do we need to do now? Well, I think I kind of need to build the thing that's going to go in the center, the diving bell. Not sure how I'm going to do that just yet, so we probably won't do that today. But let's go ahead and add some lights and some more supports to this and hopefully make it look a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. And essentially, we're just going to attach these guys together like that. Yes. From there, we're going to try and attach these guys together. So if we can go from the side uh, upwards, that would be amazing. I do think this might be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see. Uh, so if we go across, maybe that'll be better. Hey, there you go. Up to there, pretty much. All right, good. Go ahead and do it the other way around. And that is very weird, because it isn't actually in the right place. <laughs> it wasn't even in the right place. All right, good. So if we can, let's go ahead and attach a piece into there. Go ahead and shove this guy into there, and do the same thing on this side. There we go. We can then try and just do this. All right, very nice. And this, very nice also. Yes. And we can attach all of this together. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four. And then these guys right here. One and two. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, the other thing I would love to do as well, actually, is to attach a few of these guys in. Uh, because we do actually need to make it look like it's supported further up as well. Otherwise, we're going to have some serious issues. So if we can, shove that guy into there and into here. And I think that'll be good enough for us. Yeah, there's definitely enough support on this thing to make it look like it works fine. Yeah. All right, so what I'm thinking we do now is actually, I was going to say we build an actual thing down here, but I don't think we do. Let's get ourselves a pivot and we'll add something that moves, but I'm not sure it's going to be the thing that we actually need, if that makes sense. So we need a gripper. Here we go. Yes, gripper is going to go on there just like this. We're then going to delete this guy and we're going to send it to the other side, essentially. And we're going to put another gripper on that side. There we go. From there, we're going to attach these two together, probably. So let's do something like this. There we go. Merge this guy and this guy. And I don't know. I feel like I just need some ropes on here now. So unfortunately, there's actually no center, which is really, really annoying. But yeah, one, two, three. Uh, in fact, actually, we can use that bit as the center, which is actually this piece right here. That's fine. 
So, rope anchors, here we go, yes! Attach the rope anchor to this, and then we can obviously attach that via a rope up to the top, and maybe that'll be fine. Alright, there we go, and there we go. Alright, good. So, what I'm going to do really quickly is actually add some buttons, and we'll see if it actually even works. So, let's get a seat actually, that might be the easiest thing to do. Seat, yes, shove it right there like this. And we'll attach it all together and see what happens. So one is going to be for down. And down and two is going to be for up and up. There we go. All right, cool. Electricity, we can do... Um, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so current situation means that this is actually too light. And I think won't actually go down. But let's go ahead and try. So two is up. Oh my goodness. Okay, one is down. That is very, very strong. <laughs> That's much stronger than I thought it was going to be, actually. So, uh, it sort of messed itself up a bit. You know what, actually, though, that is a good thing for testing because we should actually probably put, like, a bit of a bumper or, like, a stop on this just so that it can't actually come up like that. We're also going to add some weight really quickly just so that we can actually uh, see it go down. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and save this. There we go. And we're going to have to spawn it out there because at the minute, uh, it's not actually stable enough to float by itself. Alright, so here we go. This time it should work fine. I should have probably slowed it down as well, but never mind. So, if we go underneath the ship and we zoom out, we should see it fall. There it goes. Alright, yeah, we're going to have to slow that down, but that's fine. It's totally working. And then when we want it to go back up, we obviously bring it back in. Yeah, so we need this to be way slower. At the minute, this is dangerous. <laughs> This is extremely dangerous, but uh, I do think we can maybe get it to work, so I'm really trying here. Go down and come up. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to get it into there properly, but we should be able to do it in the long run. So I'm actually really happy with this. I think it looks pretty good. It looks kind of sophisticated uh, enough to be on the back of the ship. It actually looks kind of elegant, too which I think is also pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really happy with it. So for now, I think I'm going to end this here. And in the next one, I'm probably going to add some lights around the deck, uh, try and make this look a little bit nicer, and we might actually come up with some sort of container to go down to the bottom of the sea in. We'll see. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.